do you also want some detailed cost and breakdown of the blah, blah, blah. do do real quick whether you are relocating to Vietnam as a exchange student or you're working for a corporation or you're an entrepreneur what is it like in the landscape for public schools or private schools and for your toddler or your teenager so Vietnam's education system is quite diverse and we want to share with you some of that information today but before I do make sure that you watch our other videos about living in Vietnam so let's find out on what is the cost of education in Vietnam Hello, my name is Ken Yung, international and business immigration attorney with over 13 years of experience helping individuals and families uh, get citizenships all over the world, live and work, including Portugal, Grenada, United States, and many other countries. So you have a family and you're looking to move to Vietnam and look at the educational system and what options you have. Great thing for you is that Vietnam is a country that really focuses on education and the literacy rate is one of the highest in the world. In 2021, 95.7% of all Vietnamese have achieved a literacy rate of considered affluency. Thus, the focus on education and the variety of education opportunities from public to the private sector are all available in Vietnam and that's one of the great points of having your children study and be in the Vietnam education system. Vietnam's education system has six levels. Preschool for three years, also known as kindergarten. Primary school for five years. Secondary school for four years. High school for three years. Undergraduate education from four to six years. And postgraduate education generally for two years. At the end of each level, except for preschool, students have to pass a graduation examination in order to graduate to the next level, especially for high school, as students have to take two examinations, one to graduate from high school and the other to get to college or university. The school year begins on August or September and finishes on May or June. A typical school day starts at 7 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. from Monday to Friday. Students have holiday breaks as well for Vietnamese Lunar New Year for two weeks, summer break for two months beginning in June, Home Kings Festival on the 10th of March in Lunar Year, Reunification Day, 30th of April, Labor Day, 1st of May, Teacher's Day, 20th of November. So there are three main options to choose from in Vietnam. There's a public system, the private system, and then the international school system. So if the public system is probably the most affordable option for anyone, the private system are what are called the hybrid systems. They're taught in English and Vietnamese or a second language in Vietnamese. And then the international schools would cover British international, American, Australian, Canadian, Japan, and Korea as well. So those are the three main education systems available in Vietnam right now. Public school is established and monitored by the state. The state also nominates their administrators and decides staff quota. The state invests in infrastructure and allocates funding for their regular spending task. Parents try to get their kids into public with high grades to be able to enroll reputable public schools. Tuition fee is more affordable than private schools. Parents can also get government support and yearly tuition fee is about 1,000 US dollars. The second option I want to talk about are private schools. Most of the options that people choose for private schools are at secondary level at the university level, but many, many have increased the trend towards having them start K through 12 at a private school. Some examples of a private school would be Lin School, or FPT University. You can also look at RMIT and many other available private school options from K through 12 and then at the university level. Convenience applies to international schools as well, but as opposed to other types of schools, international schools base their programs on the US, British, French, or other international education programs. 
Vietnamese students prefer international schools and universities because educational method, facilities, opportunity to be fluent in another language, and many more benefits. International schools are costly and you should count around $30,000 to $40,000 per year for the tuition fee. Now that you know the general costs and types of systems for private, public, and international schools, do you also want detailed breakdown of how much it would cost for your family to live in Vietnam? This next part is definitely for you, so stay tuned. But before we get to that section, if you want to have all the benefits of living and working and having your kids go to school in Vietnam, there's a great option if you are of Vietnamese descent or you can prove your connection to Vietnam, we'll be able to get you the Vietnamese citizenship. So make sure you watch those videos and know what the benefits are regarding education and your family living in Vietnam. So now let's go to different levels of the Vietnam education system. The main benefit of having your kids go to a public kindergarten is a matter of cost and availability and the state will pay for that. What about private and international schools? Your children will have more spacious and modern facilities while studying at private or international kindergartens. English will be the second main language to study and speak every day, with foreign teachers, unlike in the public, where English is not a focus. Expect a tuition fee of about $12,000 to $15,000 per year. In primary school, kids will start learning math, ethics, uh, nature and science, geography, music, performing arts, and many other basic subjects that they can get exposure to. And the cost is very similar, except for primary school, it goes from grade one to five. And after the fifth grade, the children will take a national examination for graduation out of primary school. In secondary school, the children will focus on mathematics, history, science, geography, performing arts, also in physical education and a few other specialized subjects. Upon grade nine, the uh, children will be conferred a lower education uh, graduation certificate and after that upper secondary education will be much more competitive so therefore the children have to focus on many other subject matters as well. After completing high school children are required to take in a second examination to graduate but they also have to take an entrance exam in order to go to university and be selected into the majors that they want. Students can choose to take on subjects in one of two streams, which are science and humanities. The secondary education graduation diploma will be awarded to students in grade 12. Students who lack the qualifications to enter upper secondary schools in Vietnam can enroll in vocational secondary school programs or opt for an international school education. Tuition fee for secondary and high school for public schools is roughly about 1,500 per year and for private or international schools, it can go up to $35,000 per year. As for university or undergraduate education, the entrance exam for students is critically important because that will determine which school you can go to, which major you can get into, and there's a lot of focus during that time period and also during the examination period is quite a cultural uh, event and very stressful for the students and the parents, but it's something that is very important to the development of Vietnam. Tuition for undergraduate uh, at the public schools are about $2,000 per year, but at private and international schools, it can go up to about $40,000 US dollars per year. So for postgraduate education, like a master's or a doctorate degree, uh, you're looking at a tuition fee between $12,000 to $21,000 per year, and programs can take two years up to five years depending on the master's or doctorate program. One thing to mention is tutoring. In Vietnam, tutoring after school is very popular. It's the way public school teachers open classes at their houses to have extra homework for the students. Foreign languages are very important for children to learn in Vietnam and English is a required second language for children in Vietnam. Nevertheless, other languages such as Korean, Japanese, Chinese, French, 
Spanish are also taught and commonly learned by children as well. And there are many programs that do a cultural immersion whereby you will learn both the foreign language and Vietnamese or English as well where they can fully immerse in the environment. I love those programs because I think that's the best way to learn. So you got to choose what is the best path for your children. Uh, if you want them to learn Vietnamese and be fluent in Vietnamese, maybe it's best to put them in public schools. If you want them to fully understand English and learn English, maybe in international school. However, there's a real push towards private schools that are hybrid English and Vietnamese or Vietnamese and another language because it's critically important that children in Vietnam understand and learn and be able to be fluent in Vietnamese prior to learning other languages. So make sure that you have a very specific educational path and strategy for your children and we'll be happy to advise you on what's the best way. No matter what you choose as an educational path for your children living here in Vietnam, our expert at Yung Global and our resources will be glad to help you tailor the right educational path for your children. As I'm going through it as well, as I have children living and working here in Vietnam, I want to make sure that they get the best and most suitable education possible and I want to be able to do that same thing for you. So as always, on behalf of Yung Global, thank you very much for watching this video. We have many other videos as well about living, working and retiring in Vietnam. But education for the kids is a critically important part. That's why we made this video for you and I hope it's informative. But as always, make sure you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment below about other schools that are available that you may have your kids already and we'll be happy to look at them as well. And of course, click on the bell for notifications. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.